the thing that you see on the screen right now is an internet clock with 3D printed enclosure. So in this video, I will share to you the process of making this thing with Wemos T1 mini port and 1602 LCD. These are the components that we need. Of course, we will need the Wemos T1 mini port. And then this one is 1602 LCD with I square C backpack. And then this one is jumper cable, female to female. And then this one, USB cable. And of course, the 3D printed enclosure. First, we will need to solder the pin to the port, but we will not solder to both sides of the port. We will only solder to one side because we only need uh, for the 5 volt ground T1 and T2. Okay, after this I will solder the pins. And as you can see, my soldering skill is not good enough. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, next we will continue with connecting the LCD to the board. But first I will need to pen these pins in order to fit to the enclosure okay wait a moment okay and then after that i will plug these cables we will need four cables or four jumper cables and that's for ground vcc scl and sda Next, this is the diagram that we are going to refer to. So ground goes to ground of the board and then VCC goes to 5 volt, SDA goes to D2 and SCL goes to D1. Okay, now I will plug one by one to ground 5 volt and then D1 for SCL and D2 for SDA. You can also solder directly to the board from the cable, but I'm using jumper cable, so in case I want to make some improvement, I can do it later on. Next is plugging the USB cable. And then after that, plugging the USB cable to the computer, or in this case, a notebook. Anyway, I'm still new to this Arduino thing, so if you have any suggestion, please let me know in the comment below. Maybe you have a better way to make the code or more simple one, so please uh, put in the comment below. Anyway, for the library, here is the one I'm using. So starting with library for ESP8266, because I'm using a Wemos D1 mini port, and that one is using ESP8266. And then next one is for the LCD display. Okay. I'm using liquid crystal I2C and then next one is for the NTP clock I'm using this one NTP client and then for this one the NTP client time client uh, setting I'm using this one this is the NTP server in Indonesia so I'm using ID pool NTP ORG anyway you can also use the NTP server that's near to your location or maybe the international NTP server and then this one 25200 this is uh, the uh, offset which is because Indonesia time for for my location Jakarta is GMT plus 7 so this is uh, 7 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds so this is the offset in seconds and then this one is the update interval this is in milliseconds so it's going as 600,000 meaning it's every 10 minutes and then this one is uh, some variables let's move on to the setup for the setup this is in initializing the LCD and then this one is for the Wi-Fi setup so you will need to input your SSID or your Wi-Fi name here and also your Wi-Fi password here and it will runs first it will disconnect from the previous 
access point and then uh, showing some indication or some sign on the display of the internet clock and then it will tell you if it's already connected or not and then uh, this one is uh, to show the connecting progress so if it is not connected yet it will uh, print these uh, characters next initializing the NTP clock connection starting with time client begin and then time client update and then this one is time between update so this is going to be used in the next loop section and uh, for this one I'm going to use 10 minutes so meaning that every 10 minutes the loop will get update from the time client and then uh, for the display day this is actually a value that I'm using to trigger updating on the first run you will see the logic in the next part of uh, the loop and then for this one uh, this is an additional part that I'm using to let the program wait if still not getting the correct clock time so anyway if uh, connecting to NTP and still not getting the correct time then the epoch time will be zero so we will wait until the epoch time is correct or not zero and then we will use that one next for the loop uh, this is the variable hour number minute number second numbers and then this one is the epoch time okay and then um, this one if the millisecond is more than next update time it will runs this uh, section so first it will run with uh, updating the next update time it's uh, it's the millisecond uh, plus 16,000 meaning meaning this is a uh, one minute okay 60,000 milliseconds or one minute times the time between update the one that we previously state uh, above wait ah this one okay and then move on to the next one time client update okay and then if you want your internet clock to be automatically uh, backlight on and off you can activate this part so uh, for example if I activate this one then uh, after 7 a.m. the backlight will be off and then after 17 or 5 p.m. the backlight will be on okay and then this part is for the uh, showing the day date and month and also year uh, so first if the display day or the day that's already in the uh, internet clock is different from the one that is getting now from time client get day then it will run this uh, area meaning that it will show the day and then also uh, after that this one the date month and year so this is uh, one how to say uh, after this if this is the one that's running and uh, this one is for showing the day name so if the display day is zero in this case the display day is from time client get day if zero is Sunday if one then it means Monday and so on and then for the next one for the date month here it's using this one uh, day epoch time so this is using the library right here for the time li time library time lib it will convert from epoch time to uh, the how do you say to the units that you need so in this case if i use day it will show the day from the epoch time and then for this one will show the month and this one will show the year and uh, this small additional is if the day is under 10 or below 10 it will print first zero number so meaning if the day or date is one then it will print zero and then it next will print one so it will show zero one okay and then also this one is similar for the month and then next for the update for this one hour minute and second so this one will runs while millisecond is less this less than the next update time so if you see here while millisecond is less than next update time this uh, will runs okay and then we will get the hours minutes and so on 
and still using similar logic if less than 10 then it will print first zero okay next for the seconds this is uh, if the second number is not the same as the time client get seconds it will print the second in this cursor position so 13 uh, by 1 so meaning at the second line at the 14th characters meaning from 0 1 2 3 um, and then up to 13th and then of of course if uh, the second number is less than 10 it will print 0 first and then after that print the second number this one delay uh, so it will not run all the time it will wait about a quarter seconds or 250 milliseconds and then runs again after that if the minute is changing then it will update this one minute and hours and then if the second is changing then it will update the second again now to upload this program to the hardware we will need to set up this one so the board should be this one I'm using Lowlin Wemos D1 R2 or mini anyway if this is still not showing then you will need to update the boards manager I will put the link in the description on how to uh, add this board on your Arduino IDE okay and then next uh, adjust this one for the port it should be the port that your uh, internet clock is connected so in this case it's in COM4 or you can check from the device manager this one and it shows on COM4 so I'm using COM4 and then uh, for this one the upload speed I have a uh, good luck with 11 sorry 115,200 for the upload speed and then after that we will upload this code so okay if you want to check first then you can click this one to verify the uh, code and then you can upload the code by clicking this one it might give a warning like this so liquid crystal i2c claim to run on AVR architecture and may not be compatible with your board but anyway it runs perfectly on my uh, project so hopefully it will run smoothly on your project too now it's uploading to the board okay I will turn on the camera and this is the result so it starts connecting to the Wi-Fi and this is the SSID that I'm using okay wait and now it's connected and showing the time so it's Monday 19 April 2021 time 09440708 and so on okay next we will assemble this thing to the enclosure so first we will put the display inside and fasten with m3 screws okay so first not too tight just make sure it's holding the port to the place and then after we put four screws then we can fasten all tightly and next put the port on the rear enclosure and then plug the USB cable okay next we will check to make sure if the connection inside the enclosure have no problem so we will connect the USB to power source in this case a power bank okay it still runs perfectly no problem now we will continue with securing the rear cover using M2 screws. yes now let's 
check how it turns out okay it's connecting the Wi-Fi again and still connecting okay connected and this is the time now 19 April 2021 10 33 29 30 and so on okay that's all for this video Anyway, if you are interested in this project, you can download the enclosure in the description. We will show you the link. And also for the uh, sketch of the Arduino, we will also include there. So don't worry. And anyway, if you have any suggestion, please put in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.